This week, Scott Williams got a phone call from someone saying he was a deputy. It is a very urgent matter. Please make contact at your earliest convenience. Williams did recently serve on jury duty. The caller said that case where Williams had been a juror had new developments. I'm showing that you were supposed to show up for court on Monday morning. Was you not aware of that? Not at all. The caller knew Williams' address. He named a Bernalillo County District Court judge and rattled off case numbers. At one point, the pretend deputy acted like a police call was coming in. 287 Central, go ahead. Then he said there was now a warrant for Williams' arrest because he didn't show up for his second round of jury duty. He had already reeled me in. He told Williams he had two options. I could turn myself in and do 72 hours or more in jail time. Or the caller said instead of going to jail, Williams could get what he called bond vouchers. It's a money card. It's, a, it's just a money card with a number on the back. And you just, it's a, the piece of cardboard cards you get at the grocery stores. The caller told Williams his bond was $4,114. Then over the phone, the pretend deputy had Williams read the numbers on the back of the money cards. As I read the numbers on the back of the card that you scratch off, as soon as he had that number, he's got the number. And 4000 bucks from Williams. Then he told Williams he would meet him downtown at the sheriff's department. When Williams went downtown and met with real deputies, he realized he'd been tricked. This guy got me so rattled right off the bat that he hook, line, and sinker reeled me in. And the first thing I started doing was exactly what I should have never done. The attorney general calls this a scam and says it is happening all across the country. Law enforcement says they would never ask for money over the phone. For Target 7, I'm Nancy Laughlin.